Hi, and this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and today we're getting into, is this the right way? Yeah, the Timex uh, Pac-Man Collaboration Watch T80. Uh, Pac-Man, the video game, you know, the little yellow guy, chomps on uh, four different colored ghosts and eats some fruit every other stage or so. Came out in 1980, uh, 40 years ago, which is kind of insane when I think about it. I was four when the game came out. I'm a bicentennial baby, and but I certainly played a whole bunch of it growing up, both in the arcade and then obviously on all the home systems. Really interesting game, you know, kind of like quasi artificial intelligence built in. The ghosts are each programmed to do a different thing, uh, so it made the game very difficult and very entertaining. Um, of course, now I, I think the game still holds its own even now. Uh, you see, people still talk about it. I don't know if people still play it but they certainly still talk about it. So Timex is really good for digging up uh, collabs with um, either companies and some other things. Like they did a lot of Todd Snyder stuff and uh, The Q, which was last year's mega, mega explosion hit. Uh, I sold hundreds of Qs in days. It was absolutely insane. Um, it seems to have died down a little bit. I, th I think the... The iron has been struck, so to speak. I'm wearing an Islander on my other wrist. The original gangster, so to speak. So I'm going to show you two Pac-Man watches today. Stainless steel and PVD. They did do four. There's an all gold one and there's another one. I didn't get those. I didn't think they were that kind of good looking. Um, so, uh, just 79 bucks. Pretty cool Pac-Man watch. Does not play the Pac-Man game, but plays a very annoying sound, I think. <laughs> Let's check them out. So I am bringing to you two Timex Pac-Man collab watches. Uh, model numbers are kind of crazy. TWTU 319 and 321 uh, zero, 00, then some other two letters that denote the packaging. You'll see them. I'll obviously link to them below. At 10.55, the alarm is going to go off on this one. Uh, so you will hear the alarm sound. Uh, it does not play the Pac-Man game, as I said. Uh, just does the sound. and has the cool... You know, around it, you've got Pac-Man chasing the four ghosts in their appropriate colors. Uh, so it's obviously a quartz digital display. Uh, it is 34 millimeters wide without the button. So if you go like from here to here, 34 wide. It's 10 thick to a acrylic crystal. A little bit of a dome to it. No AR. <laughs> uh, I guess if I had AR, it would be a major problem with an LCD display. Uh, and it is 43 millimeters on the tip to tip. I like they did a standard 18 millimeter lug, so if you do not like the bracelet, which it's okay, you know, it it suits the watch, but you can put any 18 millimeter on there uh, that you want. Uh, it is water resistant to 30 meters, so you're not exactly diving with it, but splash resistance is just fine. Uh, let's come in on it a little bit. So because it is that LCD, you know, off angles, it gets a little green hue. That It does have indiglo. I'll turn the lights out later and show you because it doesn't really show in the bright lights here. So the modes, I got a minute till, uh, I got a minute till uh, D-Day here. Uh, time, uh, um, let's do the time first. So time and date, whoops, uh, uh, that was alarm mode, sorry, I went right by it. Time, alarm, chronograph, start, stop, reset, and then you're back to time. There's not much going on here. Uh, flip it over, see where it's made, water resistance of 30 meters. I like that they put the battery type right on the back. So before you crack it open, you know if you have a CR2016. What do they even put the lug with? How cool is that? Uh, M555, I have no idea what that's referring to because this is the number that is the stock keeping unit. TW2U319 that I mentioned in the beginning. Uh, Pac-Man collab cool how they got the ghosts on the back as well and then on the bracelet the clasp actually has pac-man and a ghost so it is one of those infinitely sliding adjusting bands uh keepers here so you pick this up five seconds let's just listen ready and four three two one Actually, I think that is the indigo going on when the alarm goes off. Yeah, it does. The indigo goes on for a split second. So, obviously, that is a Pac-Man theme. My goodness, it sounds like a MIDI file from you know an old Windows computer. It is, <laughs> it is ear splitting. It is that loud. It is quite loud. Uh, I was playing with it 
at home and my kids heard it and they said, what the heck is that sound? They did not know what it was. Anyway, the clasp, you pick this little lever up and you can move this up and down, infinitely adjustable so you get it to fit on your wrist as comfortable as you want. So 79 bucks guys, either or, the stainless steel and then the PVD model, okay? Still a stainless steel case back but done in all black. Uh, let me just do this real quick, so we'll flip out the lights. So if you're familiar with Timex's in the glow, the way it works is you press the button and the screen lights up. So pretty cool, works great, very easy to read. Here she is on my six and three quarter inch wrist. Well, here he is, right? It's Pac-Man, it's not Miss Pac-Man. Uh, fits great, obviously, very small, very small, very comfortable, it's very lightweight, even though the bracelet is steel. Uh, the case, I believe, is, um, resin it's plastic uh, so very lightweight but very cozy i'm sure the bracelet eh, probably gonna be a hair puller of some sort but cool retro vibes so i think that'll do it uh, this has been mark from longhourwatch.com showing you the timex pac-man collaboration watch please like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you've not done so if you have any questions or comments put them down below and i'll be sure to address them as soon as i can thank you very much for watching Bye bye